Hello friends. In the previous video, we created some MTRDD uh, with no partitions and with some default partitions. Now let, let's cite some more unit test case with actual uh, list of integers. So I will start with creating, just copy this and then I will just change this method name now. I will put the name as create, okay, create spark RDD, sorry, create spark RDD using parallelize method. Using parallelize method. Okay. Yeah, spelling is look okay. Uh, so create, I will also change the display name. Create a spark RDD using parallelize method. Create a spark RDD. Maybe I'll use from java collection here i will be using list okay and uh, so this part is good we are creating a spark context first but before that we call this parallelized method let's create a list so normally i prefer to use the stream iterate because we're just passing like whatever numbers we want we can create in this one go so speed with one and then i will use a lambda, a lambda here and plus one and then I can limit it to whatever number I want. So this actually saves a lot of timing or not typing. So I'll just type eight L and then collect. Collectors dot list. Okay. And control alt V where I will collect this data. So I just mark it as data and Again, let's better to mark it as final. Okay, so we have got data created of a stream a list of integers from one to eight. Now let's create our RDD. So here, instead of, I will change the name of this as F6 as my RDD. And I will pass this in the parallelized method argument. So now I have created an RDD from this list of integers. Now let's print all, all the information here. Now let's add some methods here. So we are already printing the RDD number of partitions. Let me do control D and then total elements. Total elements in RDD. And then I will call this count method. So I expect to be giving me eight. Okay. And now let's also write elements of RDD. So I will just use control D again and uh, not pass any other information, but just a placeholder here that elements of, my, of RDD maybe just, okay. And just remove this. And now we have got this very uh, useful method that my RDD. I will collect it first. Collect actually if there are number of partitions made uh, across uh, where, uh, several worker nodes, it will collect all this information uh, in back to the driver program, and then we can call for each. For each is similar to the Java streams for each. It's not the Spark for each. And then we will print out this information. So S out C. Okay, so we have got this calendar for each. Now let's run this program first. So before running this, let's revise this again. What we have done, we created a Spark context of the Spark conf that we have created at the top with uh, the set app name and set uh, master as local star, which means that we will have four partitions for RDD by default. Then we created a list of integer of eight elements of eight integers, one to eight. And then we call parallelized method. We created an RDD. It's very much similar to what we have learned here, that we have got a list of integers from one to eight, and we call parallelized method. It will create four partitions, and there would be four tasks created, which will be running on parallel, in parallel with on all these partitions. Okay, so and then we printed out some uh, the, all the information that about the RDD object, the number of partition, total elements, and elements of RDD. 
and for each of them we actually print it out let me run this okay so it's running now normally it takes a little bit of time too because it's initialized the spark context and everything okay so it's already run so let's go through it we create parallel collections rdd which is this rdd so whenever you call parallelize method it always create this spark object uh, uh, the class name as parallel collection rdd and the number of partitions is four as discussed that we are having cpu core of four so it's four elements in rdd is eight and elements of rdd is one to eight so now let's uh, we have just printed a very basic information about rdd now let's do the same thing that we did in the first program so I will copy this to save some time. I will just call some reduce operations and print it out. So just control C and then I will go here and mark S reduce operations and then print it out. So it's actually my RDD, right? So just copy this and shift alt insert control V shift dot insert again to come back to the normal mode and it's all good and we will print this information max min and sum now let's run this again yes yeah, so it has run successfully now and uh, as mentioned that we have printed this we have performed some reduce operations on this rdd that's why the max is coming as 8 min as 1 and sum as 36 okay so this was about how to how do we actually call in a normal operation on a parallelized method by actually passing a list of integers now uh, as we mentioned that parallelized method has got an overloaded constructor so that let's write to uh, let's try to like overwrite the default uh, partitions from four to some other number so let's write that test case now so it would be exactly same i will just copy this control c Control V. Let's change the name of this. Create Spark RDD using Spellize method with given partitions. Okay. Similarly, because we are going to um, uh, override the default of four to some other number, maybe eight. Let me also change it here with given partitions. Okay. Everything should is same, but uh, in this parallelized method, I will just call maybe eight. So eight means that you can see that the number of slices is coming out to be eight. So what it means is that instead of creating four partitions, it will create eight partitions, and then it will split the data accordingly. And that that might there would be like eight seven, eight uh, tasks created for for this uh, RDD. So let's run this. So it runs successfully and we can see that the only difference in, with the previous one is that the number of partitions is eight instead of four because we passed eight as the parameter here and that's everything should be same elements of rdd max minimums and sum so i think we have covered uh, quite a few test cases here so let's revise all of it so in this first of all we created our spark conf object and set the app name, which would be visible in the application uh, UI, uh, which is called a Spark Context Web UI at localhost port 4040. And the master is set as local star, which means that it will take four partitions by default. Then we created an empty RDD by calling this empty RDD method. And we found that the number of partitions was zero there. And then we called uh, the same parallelized method on an empty list. And then again, it created an empty RDD, but the number of partitions was four. Uh, and then the actual real case where we are actually causing uh, creating a list of integer and using that to parallelize to create an rdd and we found it a number of partitions was four and then we performed several other operations like count and we printed all the elements using collect dot for each and then we print also did some reduce operations and finally we over override the the default partition of four to eight and we found that the number of partitions was actually created as eight and the data was split across all the eight partitions and then we performed the similar operation as previous that we were able to do the reduce operations and also print each elements so this was all about the parallelized method 
in the next video we'll cover chapter, chapter 5 where we'll create rdd using external data sets external data sets data mean it can be a file it can be database we'll go with the first file approach and this is the actual use case which is used in production so see you all in the next video